morning, everyone. Good morning, good morning. Welcome all you new folks and welcome back, everybody. It is the 1st of June, at least for Harry and I it is. Um, you guys, today's the first day of our clean and simple keto challenge. If you guys go down in the description below, you can find our website URL. If you click on that and go there, you can find the Clean and Simple Keto Challenge, which you are welcome to download and use. Pin it up on your refrigerator. But don't forget, there's two parts. There's the do's and don'ts part as well. Now, you guys, our protocol is a 16-hour fast today. Come on in, Harry. It's a 16-hour fast or 8-hour eating window. Eat two meals and move your body. So if you fast till noon, you have till eight o'clock to finish your eating. If you break your fast at 10 o'clock, you have till six. It's just that simple. Use the list of do's and don'ts that I have to make it clean and simple. And when you fast, don't forget, during our fast this month, we are only drinking black coffee, black or green plain tea, Plain sparkling or still water only. That's during our fast period. After that, we can have our delicious creamy coffee, sweetened coffee, and all of the collagen and all the good things we put in our coffee during the day. But during our fasting period, we're doing a hard fast, a Jason Fong fast. Jason Fung. Not sure if it's a Fung or a Fong, but it's Jason, <laughs> Jason's Fung. Uh, fasting. Mm. So that's what Harry and I are doing, you guys. You guys are allowed to modify this. You're allowed to switch your days. But what I want you to do today, don't forget, weigh yourself this morning. Write it down. Take your measurements, you guys. Take a forward, side, back picture of yourself because at the end of the month, I want you to do the same thing. Then I want you guys to leave me a comment at the very last day, June 30th, your name, what your starting weight was, and your end weight. I'm not tracking anything during the entire month for everyone, but I do want to know at the end of the month. I want to see how many people did the challenge and how much weight you all lost. Harry and I are going on a road trip for 10 days this month and we are taking a scale and we are taking a food scale and we are going to vlog it and we are going to weigh in every single day and we're going to follow the clean and simple keto challenge. Anyway, you guys, how did everybody do on Memorial Day? Did you guys meet with friends and family? Did you get together? Did you guys have a barbecue? We had a delicious food filled keto day yesterday. It was a lot of food. We had a great time. Mom came over. And let me tell you, those chicken wings that were brined in dill pickle juice were awesome. And the banana pudding, woo, huh, Harry? Oh, yeah. That Fabulous. banana pudding, one of my favorites. Just it reminded was a me. It food extravaganza. It was. And if you guys want to see that, Harry will link it. And you guys can go check it out because it was really good food I shared with you guys how to make it too but everything we eat everything we drink and that's another thing uh, we did have a celebratory whiskey didn't we Harry yep. we had a celebratory whiskey and soda last night and um, everything that you eat or drink the day before any medication the food you eat all those things can have a direct effect on your weight and my weight went up you guys I went up a whole pound I did um, Harry stayed exactly the same. So we are starting our weight today. I'm at 180.8. Harry's at 178.8. Now you guys, um, Harry's cleared the big board. And there's really wanna, nothing even, to show. There isn't anything to show. So All he has, right, is the blank starting slate. Starting weight. You guys. So my goal, my goal, and this is a big goal because we have less than, we have 25 pounds to get to our goal. I have 65. No, 11. That's uh, where we're going. Uh, no, I, I, want, have to, I have 12. Yeah, I wanna lose 10 pounds this month. You guys heard me right, 10 pounds. Can I do it? On a vacation? And a vacation, Boy. 10 pounds. That's my goal. 
Harry's going to have to make his own goal. He'll follow along. <clears throat> but for me, my goal is 10 pounds. I know that I'm up right now, but I want to get down into the 160s in June. Yes, indeed. So let's get started, you guys. I need to go to work. I'll share with everybody what I made. I prepped and um, am taking to work. I'm even taking an iced green plain tea to sip on this morning along with my black coffee because I, I'm prepared. I made green tea, didn't we, Harry? Yep. Harry knows what he's having for lunch. I've got it all prepared and I told him, write it on the board, weigh it and write it so that I can figure it all out in our Fitbit when I get home today. Anyway, you guys, got to go to work now. See everybody in the next segment. Goodbye. You guys, I am at work, and I want to share what I'm taking for my lunch today. I've got four deviled eggs. I've got a beautiful, delicious salad. I've got some cherry cola zevia, some peach puree, and this is full of my green unsweetened tea. Yes, it is. Okay, you guys, I'm going to put this away in the refrigerator and I'm going to go downstairs and get myself a cup of black coffee for my fasting. Yes, indeed. Anyway, everybody, just wanted to share what I'm going to have. I'm going to put the lid back on this beautiful salad. It's got goat cheese. It's got sweet pickles. It's got lettuce. It's got uh, four ounces of that... Um, low sodium turkey from Boar's Head. So I'm very excited about what I have for lunch today. So I'm at the coffee machine and you can do it hands-free. Look at all the choices we have, you guys. Coffee, espresso, latte, and cappuccino. Vanilla drinks, chocolate drinks, flavored shots, but I'm doing coffee. I'm gonna do dark. Um, no milk, just plain. And here comes my plain, dark, roasted coffee for my break. Yes, indeed. Pretty nifty. You guys can lift these up and put your, I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but you can put your tall cup in here. Anyway, you guys, I just wanted to share, I'm getting a black cup of coffee for my break and for my fast. Oh, so you guys saw our coffee machine. Yes, indeed. Now, when we had the Keurig stations everywhere, we had all kinds of flavored coffees and those come into play with, um, with fasting, intermittent fasting. I'm thinking that the flavored coffees will be fine as long as you make sure the natural flavorings don't have any carbs in them. But you guys, just to be able to get a really nice, uh, I don't know what brand this is, but man, it's good. It's good, it's not bitter, it doesn't taste burnt. You know, Starbucks has that burnt taste to it. So, um, sorry, my little chain that I've got for my mask, my mask chain that holds my mask on was catching in my hair in the back. So anyway, you guys, I'm going to sit back. I'm going to read all my emails from three days out of the office and I'm going to have my black cup of coffee. So even though it was Memorial Day yesterday, I still got a ton of emails to go through. So how's everybody doing? Hope everybody's having a great day. Hey, you guys, don't forget, we're going to get up and move our bodies today. I'm going to be taking a walk. I'll be taking you guys with me. I'll see everybody in the next segment. So, Wendy called, said I'd eat now. Probably a good thing. It's quarter to one. Probably should eat. The I think our uh, fast was over it. 1230 or something like that. She told me to go ahead and eat. She told me I could have oh, these uh, eggs right here and the rest of where is it? This chicken. So these little, there's three little chicken wings in here. 
So this is what I'm going to have basically for my lunch. You just kind of, kind of put them on the plate. And I'm just going to stick them in the microwave for a minute. Ooh. Forty seconds. I don't like them really hot. You know, I don't want them to be like super hot. I like them. I think that's just warm. I like cold chicken, anyways. You know. So I just am walking the corridors today. I walked down and up a couple times. It's like an L shape. So come walk with me, you guys. But since I'm waiting, I think I'll have another egg. Hmm. Things are so good. This is why I'm so intelligent, because I'm always standing right next to this thing. Look at her. Wings. Oh. And a couple of eggs. What do you think? Yeah, me too. All right, talk to you later. Ooh, I get this lovely, lovely salad. Yes, indeed I do. Mm-mm-mm. warm out here you guys. I've been walking. I have to be careful because if I film and people see it, I could get in trouble. So I don't want to get in trouble, but I do want to film. But yes, I am walking today. Hope everybody's been moving your body. If not, get up and move you guys. Get up and move. Man, it feels good. You know, I get so cold in my office because it's like 72 degrees inside and I wear a little sweater and then I take my sweater out, come outside in the wonderful courtyard and get defrosted. And then I go in and start all over again. Anyway, everybody, I hope everybody's having a great day. Just remember to continue to get up and move. At work, I just wait every about every hour, get up, move a little bit, and it all adds up in the end, you guys. Ooh, our hibiscus are blooming. Very pretty. Mm -mm -mm. Anyway, everybody, I'll talk to you guys in the next segment. Gotta move now. So, I'm, I'm gonna cook some hamburger. I'm kind of excited about it, because you know, I, one of my favorite foods in the world is ground beef. Sounds weird, but hey, it's the truth, you know? When I was in the service, whenever we were out, all I dream about was getting back and having a hamburger or some fries, you know? That was about the extent of my food thought back then. And you know, in a way, it still is. I just really like hamburger. So I'm going to throw this in a pot and get it going. You see it? Yeah. I wanted, I wanted to have a two-pound hamburger patty, but I don't think that's going to happen. Because this is um, right here. This is uh, 2.13 pounds. I don't think Wendy would be happy just having, you know, 0.13. <laughs> so I'm just going to go ahead and put this in here. Turn it on to high, let it heat up a bit. I really, really like this stuff. I think it comes from being a teenager. Growing up, 
basically lived at the drive-in. See the same movie I don't know how many times. But uh, that's what I liked. Yeah, that's drive-in. That's where I learned about scratching. Well, they were, they, what was it called? Cintorama or whatever it was. You go in, you you know, pay your 250 or whatever it was to get the car in there, and then they give you a card with these little things, and you peel them off. And at certain times in the movie, the movie would tell you, like, you know, you'd whip open number 12, and, 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 and you would smell it, you know. And... <laughs> You know, it was weird because actually once you open them all, all the smell, you know, you start smelling all this stuff, you know. But, you know, it was it was a gimmick and it was kind of cool. Which brings me to my next point, you know. I mean, I mean, uh, I used to do a lot of little short, stupid little fun uh, things for this show still do them every once in a while but I don't do them that often anymore for one thing I'm really busy and for another I don't think anybody really cared for them all that much so I kind of like stopped doing it a lot you know I have a few that I need to finish and I'll probably put those up but I'm probably going to go more for standalone things you know I like to do them when I'm when I'm, I'm not well, I'm kind of like uh, uh, not that busy, you know, gives me something to do. Plus it allows me to keep up on a lot of my old skills, a lot of my effect skills. Okay, I'm done with that. Let's get rid of the grease. Get this lid on. It's got the holes in it. Pour this thing in. She buys pretty lean meat, so I don't get a whole lot out of it. And we're not, we don't eat that much fat like we used to in the beginning. So we don't really save the tallow anymore. It's great for when you're beginning to diet, especially if you have a lot of weight to lose. Because you can eat all that fat, but not now. Anyway. So, I guess I'll wait till uh, Wendy to get home, do the rest of it. I'm just going to leave it in the pot because I don't know what she's going to want to do. Um, you know, how she, what she wants to make or what. So, we'll let her figure that out. I think it's going to be a simple dinner. I'm hoping. So, we'll have to wait and see. See you guys in a little bit. Okay, hey everybody. I am home from work. And you guys, I was able to get... 5,400 steps in, whoops, just by getting up and going on like a few laps. Did you get it? Yeah. A few laps every couple hours or so at work. That really works out well for me. I'm, my first goal is getting 8,000 steps in a day. It's four o'clock, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to get more in, but I'll probably get about 6,000, 7,000 by the time I'm done today so that's a good thing you guys how did you guys do on your first fast with just black coffee black tea green tea and water i didn't have any green tea did you just have black coffee yeah oh i loved my tea thank you i sipped that all day long it was just delicious and i'll, I'll tell you the coffee they make downstairs in our coffee machines wonderful <laughs> so i don't even have to think about it so i had a great day um a great start to our June uh, Clean and Simple Keto Challenge. So that's exciting. Um, tomorrow, you guys, a regular eating day. Eat two or three meals and take a walk. Now, tonight, I am making... Harry did uh, the hamburger. Yeah. I bought some mushrooms. So I'm going to put the mushrooms in, and I'm going to let them sweat. For mushrooms, you really don't need to put any kind of oil in with them. If you have a um, non-stick pan, and the reason for that is they sweat. So they produce their own fluids, which is really, really nice. I think what we're gonna have 
is we're going to have a beef with mushroom and egg bowl. That's good. For dinner. Yeah, I like that. Because I want to get my protein in. So when we uh, get this part done, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get the mushrooms out and make some eggs. And we'll come back, you guys, and share our uh, mushroom beef and egg bowls now harry did you put anything in the beef no. because you know sally's not eating beef anymore so I actually it. i can put a little bit of seasoning in it if you want me to you want me to or yeah, you want it ahead. just unseasoned no you can season i'm gonna put just a little bit of garlic a little bit of onion so i'm gonna put some garlic granulated garlic some smoked paprika. I love smoked paprika. I'm going to put some um, granulated onion. I'm going to put some salt and pepper. We're so used to giving Sally hamburger, and right now she's on her uh, vet prescribed diet. So. Yeah. She's bloating, and we don't know why, and then she gets off her food, and then she starts having diarrhea. So we're not feeding her anything except what the vet has prescribed, huh, Harry? And yep. yogurt. The vet said the yogurt would be good for her. The non. Um, yeah. The non fat full plain greek yogurt so we've been giving her the um faye yogurt and it so far it's been working really good because dogs need probiotics too and she said that that would be fine as long as she didn't bloat with that so when we say she's having ice cream with us it's actually her food with a little yogurt on top huh harry yep that's it she doesn't know the difference and she feels like she's part of the family and it's all good Okay. Well, she knows now. Yes, she does. So, anyway, I think what I want to do is I'm going to put a little, uh, let me see how these mushrooms are doing. She doesn't come around much when we're cooking anymore because she doesn't get anything. Well, she pouts on the, oh, yeah. she pouts she's, a little bit. She's over there pouting right now. She pouts a little bit. Yeah. Yes, she does. So, Let's let those sweat a little bit, you guys, because they're going to sweat for a few minutes. And maybe I will need to put, maybe I'll put a little lean parents in there and a little bit of butter. Just a little bit of butter, though. So, tablespoon of butter. And a little bit of lean parents in here, and I'll stir it up. Excuse me, excuse me. And a little bit of water to steam. There you go. Get it started, you guys. Mushrooms were looking parched. <laughs> ah, there you go. Now they're looking better. Okay, now they're doing better. And then I'll just use this last little pat of butter, probably about a, a tablespoon of butter on um, our eggs. Harry's going to have four eggs. I'm going to have four eggs. So we get our um, calories and our protein up where it needs to be today, hopefully. Let me get some plates while that's cooking. <sighs> Ounces. Let me get the beef. Where's the beef? Yep. This one's yours. It'll be eight ounces. You remember that commercial? Yes, I do. I wonder if anybody else does. <laughs> <sighs> How many we get? There you go. Eight for you, yeah. six for me. I just can't remember which company it was. I think it was... Uh, Burger King. Was it Burger or King? Or Wendy's. No, I think it was oh. Burger King. Yeah, I don't think I it think was I, I think it was Burger King. Where's the beef, the old lady said. Uh -huh. I should call her an old lady. She's probably younger than I am right now. So. 
<laughs> but I was a kid, so, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. The mushrooms are, uh, the container is a three ounce container and we're just going to split it. And I think I'll just cook the, um, a little bit more salt on this. I think I'll put the mushrooms on top, yeah. split that out evenly, and yeah. then just cook the eggs in the juice. Yeah. In the juice. That was good to me. Let's take a peek, you see. Oh, oh yeah, look at that. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Yummy, huh? Yummy licious. Yep. Okay, you're in my way. Careful, that's very hot. I know. I can feel it. Oops, you got more than me. Well, take some. I did. I'm not shy. Why don't you count them? Then we'll know. Let me put this butter in there. She don't like the idea. I need the trash. Eight ounces, so it's four ounces, not three. Well, Mushrooms. now you've cooked them, so they're probably like... No, we just split them so that it is what it is. That we use the whole container. So I probably should have. Now I hope these don't stick. I didn't they think might. about that sauce. They might because that stuff. Kinda, I know that sauce. I know. They might come out all freaky. They may come out freaky. You're right. They might. What do we get? Three piece, something like that. Four. Now right, you gotta get all of them in there. Well, okay. I'll give. I'll have three. I'll give you three. Yeah. So. Put those eggs right on top. I don't mm. want them. I don't want them to stay in there very long. That looks good, just Doesn't like it? that. I went into the place to send off that package today, mm -hmm. and uh, none of the workers were wearing masks. Yeah, because it's mask-free. Do you have silverware for us to use? Yeah. Where? Somewhere. somewhere. Okay, come back when it's a beef bowl, you guys. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Yeah, I knew they were gonna stick. That's all right. Cause you know, I want them. I want the it's yolk. It's a non-stick pan, so I'm not even done yet. Yeah, that's how I want it. I want the yolk. Oh yeah, I like running it because down I want it to run stuff. into my food. Right. Doesn't look pretty, but oh, there you go. You do mine the same way. Just break the it scissors. open. Scissors. Well, I want to kind of share with everybody how they look. And oh, okay. Excuse me. It's going to be hard to clean this because I can feel that it's... I'll just let it soak. Well, kind of gooey on the bottom some, from uh, the some, mushrooms and stuff. Put some of the, um, the, the blue cleaner, what is it? Uh, Dawn dishwashing Dawn, yeah. detergent. I love that stuff. Bad for you, but I like it. Cleans well. Okay, you guys, this is what we are having. I'm gonna have a little bit of coleslaw with mine. Are you, Harry? No. I'm gonna have a side of coleslaw. No, no. And this is gonna be our dinner, you guys. We're not having ice cream or anything. This is it. Yes. Our day is done, we are finished. So you guys, tomorrow, like I said, it's a regular eating day. Make sure you guys take a walk. If everybody would, we'd appreciate it if you guys would like, subscribe, ring that little bell so you get notified, give us a thumbs up. And we'll see you right here tomorrow, day two, June, clean and simple challenge. Yes, indeed. Mm -mm -mm. Bye, okay. everybody. Bye. You want salt, pepper, yep. all, all a little the, dulse for all iodine the above. purposes. All the above. Take it all. Take it all. Take it oh, all. Look, she finally showed up. Well, she's she's gonna have to have some yogurt pops because she's not having ice cream. She already, so. I'll give her some.